When you click on the player button, you can visualize all the controls associated with a single sample slot. This display allows you to visualize the waveform of the sample loaded into a particular slot. Below that, there are various controls that you can use to manipulate the sound of the sample. If you click on a different sample slot, there's a separate set of controls that will affect just that sample. This provides a ton of control, but it's also the reason that Mega Sampler can be a little CPU hungry. Up top, there's a master effects section that you can use to apply effects to your samples once they've summed together. The play mode section and playback start and end markers determine where playback begins, ends, and what type of playback occurs. When working with custom samples, you may need to manually line up their transients with this grid. You can do that by clicking and dragging left or right on these numbered markers. If you click and drag down on the waveform, you can zoom in and precisely align the markers. Clicking and dragging up will cause you to zoom out. The playback marker is where playback will start. If you want playback to start at marker number one, all you need to do is move the playback marker. Snap mode is engaged by default, meaning the playback marker will jump to the nearest numbered marker. If you want to disable that behavior, you can toggle snap mode off. It's also possible to change the resolution of the grid. Let's say I want to use a 16th note. All I need to do is click on the drop down menu and select 16th notes. You can choose from values ranging from a bar down to dotted 64th notes. In loop mode, the sample will repeat itself based on the position of your start and end markers. In forward mode, when the playhead reaches the end playback marker, playback will stop. In reverse mode, the sample plays backwards, starting at the end playback marker and ending at the start playback marker. In reverse loop mode, the same behavior occurs, but in the opposite direction. Finally, in ping pong mode, the playhead will move forward and backward between the start and end markers continuously.